Hi guys, and welcome to the Spoke Art Mural edition of the video blog. Um, this video is going to be broken down into a couple of different sections or segments um, because actually we're at home in my studio right now and I'm going to show you guys kind of uh, some of the thumbnails and rough layouts and what's turned out to be kind of the final idea or layout for the mural. And then tomorrow morning, I'm actually going to get up and go start painting the mural. And I have all access to the gallery by myself. So I get to be in there by myself painting tomorrow. Um, anyway, so let me spin you around and you can check it out. So here's all my junk on my desk and kind of around my studio space. Um, I have tons and tons of stuff and I've been framing so you know some of my power tools are still out as you can see. Um, so these were initial thumbnail ideas for um, some pieces I was working on and some of them kind of partly turned out as finished pieces and some of them didn't. Um, but I actually initially was really drawn to this. So I was thinking originally that this would be a really good um, background mural. So I took that idea and basically transferred it and kind of was trying to get a good feel for how big it could be. Um, I had a secondary idea here where maybe I had like the artwork framed in the middle and then I had maybe um, a couple of birds kind of book ending, uh, book ending the artwork. Um, but I still really like this one because it kind of reflects the artwork that's going in the show and I kind of like the unusual composition, the size of the bird and how iconic it was. Um, so that was kind of my initial idea or thought and I, I liked that one. Um, I ended up not doing this because, you know, blackening out or darkening the background around everything uh, separated my artwork too much from the other art in the show. And since it's a group show, I don't want to completely uh, have my work segregated from everybody else. I, I want what I'm doing to kind of flow in with everybody else's and for the show to feel, you know, like a, like a group show. You know, everybody's participating. So uh, with that in mind, I started doing some roughs that were a little bit more like uh, the mural I did at Jasper's, so lots of flowing lines. Um, Ken had mentioned he felt like black was too stark, and I totally agree. So we ended up going with uh, a gray instead, and so it's going to be gray and white. Um, Initially, I was going to have this be a pyramid composition, maybe the artwork laid out here and then something underneath. And I kind of moved it around because I thought maybe it would look cool, maybe vertical as well or in some other configuration. I also thought about maybe leaving that part off and just having that be maybe on top. Um, and I played around with it in Photoshop, but I just couldn't quite get something I really liked. And meanwhile, um, you know, I mentioned this would be the top. Well, I did this little bird uh, for the bottom. And I've moved it around quite a bit in Photoshop, too. And I actually really liked this a lot. And I found it really simple to find great spots for this, um, where it really complemented the work and flowed into everything else. And um, so I decided, well, okay, maybe we'll save this for something else some other time and try maybe just using this by itself. And I actually really liked that idea. So I did kind of a rough layout of what the artwork would look like and I blew up this bird and um, made him a little bit bigger. You can kind of see kind of his scale. Um, my section is about six feet wide, so that's about, you know, the size he can possibly be. And then tomorrow when I go in, uh, my section should be kind of like masked off a little bit so I can see the width I'm dealing with uh, when I go to project. So that's pretty much it. That's what we're starting with tomorrow. And um, I gotta get up early to go get a few art supplies before getting started. Um, but from what I hear, we have white paint and we have a ladder and I 
have all of my crap loaded and ready to go and my my little list of things to buy um, down there taped to the box so it's going to be exciting we're going to spend all day over there probably um, and yeah that's pretty much it so I'll keep you updated the next one so see you soon Hi guys, so I'm here in the Spofar Gallery and uh, I've been here all day. Um, I got into the city about 10.30, dropped my stuff off here, and then um, went down to the hardware store, picked out the paint, um, and then got some quick food and I've just been in the gallery probably since um, 11.30, I would say, safely. Um, and right now it's, uh, I, I don't know, probably 7, 7.30, I guess. Uh, but I just finished packing up everything, so you would pretty much never know I was here, except for this, you know, large open space where all my crap was, and the step ladder. Um, so I just finished up, ta-da, the design. And I realized once I projected the image that it was gonna go really quickly, so I decided to get all schmancy with it and do some, um, you know, kind of some dry brushing effects. And even I even did a little bit of wet and wet, which I haven't done anything like that since uh, the mural at Sycamore. So this is kind of a nice combination of the last two murals I did. Um, where I kind of combined some of the techniques I used for each, you know, the one at Sycamore and the one at Jasper's. Um, and of course the design kind of, you know, like the rising bird kind of mimics the work that's been going to be going up um, kind of across this area, I'm guessing. Um, you can see the sticky notes on the sides over here where um, Sarah marked off kind of where my area was um, so it's about six feet across and then um, I just kind of projected my image so that it fit between the two points and was good to go from there so it was actually pretty easy going um, yeah really easy going very laid back um, I kept the gallery closed obviously because you know I just want to work I don't really want to talk anyone not really well that's not true we, okay I had a couple of visitors here today and I talked quite a bit so company is always appreciated yeah it really is um, but it was nice to just to be here in the quiet and put my music on and just work so um, and spoke art actually uh, Ken came by briefly to see kind of how things were going and uh, kind of check on the other artists artwork and um, took a picture of me in the middle of working. So you can see that on Spoke Arts Instagram. And as for the show, the show, the group show, the summer group show is um, this Thursday night from six to 10 o'clock. So hopefully I'll see you guys there once everything's like hung and ready. Um, I'm really stoked. I think this turned out really well. So I think this is probably my new favorite. Um, anyway, so I'll see you Thursday and signing off. Thanks.